I swear I won't shoot. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've seen you. Hopefully everybody's been doing well. I've been doing good. Jody's good. It really, when we get down to it, isn't that what it's all about? That's what it's all about. That's right. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing good out there. Hello, welcome back, everybody. Steve, Marconi, uh, El Salvador. Welcome, welcome from El Salvador, Angel. Danica's saying hi to Laura. I'm sure she says hi back. Kai, welcome back. Andy. Yep, Andy's commenting on on uh, how he's fasting. That doesn't doesn't get live Mondays and Wednesdays anymore. Just back to Fridays. <laughs> Sketch it fast. Live stream fast. <laughs> Hornox, glad you're here. You can help me with uh, my subdivisioning attempts. <laughs> you could call it subdividing, maybe. <laughs> subdividing, subdivisioning. Ah, well. <laughs> I like English is my second language after English. gibberish. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, you're very good at gibberish. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. John O, welcome back. Dave, that's good to see all you guys. I'm, I'm so excited to. Uh, to have everybody here already. Yes, yes. Sunny, Dorset sunny again in the UK. Ontario, Scotland. Kai's still asking for his model of a space mouse. Maybe one day. What, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, but it's not gonna happen today. I'll say that. <laughs> we can't, maybe it's not going to not, not happen. That was a you throw enough negative. negatives in there, yeah. Who knows what exactly yeah, know. the the real answer is? That's right. No idea what's going on. All right. Well, welcome guys. Welcome back to uh, SketchUp on Fridays. The the one time a week we get to hang out live. So, per our polled request, everybody said that uh, once a week might be good to try for a while. So we're back to doing just Fridays, which is cool. Gives opportunity, like save up a little bit more you know it's like uh if you, if you get to go get donuts every day they're not as good but if you just get them once a week it's it's special or i don't know sometimes myself treat. <laughs> that's what we always tell our kids whenever there's like i want some something not good for me and we always just call it a sometimes treat that's right Aaron's sometimes a sometimes treat, treat. sometimes once too. a week every week sometimes I'm still, I'm still connecting on Monday well. and Wednesday and talking to myself. <laughs> my name's Aaron. Uh, with me is Jody. If we have not met before, it's good to see you. Welcome. Uh, this should be a lot of fun. If you are returning, welcome back. It's awesome to see you guys. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of news or anything to talk about. We can just kind of jump right in. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, we, we, do we talk about oh. model this house? Anything? No, I, I, uh, I do got, this is my thing I to talk about is, is my, my fresh, oh. my new shirt. Let me get up a little higher. Ah, there's lots of small words there, but the, the important part is here at the top. The term. So just pause and, your stream right now. And the pronunciation. <laughs> axis. Axis. This, this was a gift from our buddy Jono. Jono sent me a t-shirt. Uh, I appreciate it. There was no. We selected him as the first uh, spotlight on the challenge before he sent me the shirt. There was no, this was, this was afterwards. There's no exchange of goods beforehand. Just wanted to clear that up. We, That's we right. Didn't do wink, anything wink. <laughs> so, Jono, thank you very much. Uh, I will say, if anybody else uh, decides they want to send me a t-shirt, I am a large now. I was probably medium at some point, but uh, somewhere between, I don't know, somewhere in the last few few months, I think, I graduated to a large. So this fits, but it's a uh, it's a little snug. So we'll we'll uh, we'll see. We don't, I'm gonna flex my sketch up too hard and rip my shirt. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, uh, Tech Link says next shirt is save. I, ha I actually have that shirt, so keep an eye out. You probably see it at some point. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh oh, Steve's got no sound. Well, we got a couple more uh, mini minutes of shenanigans, Steve. So don't uh, you, you got some more time to get the get it all worked working again. Um, I wanted to uh, you know actually 
I want to directly address that because uh, I did have somebody mention like, like, you know, we goof around too much on here, and uh, it is it's it's kind of intentional. We do try to 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 let people come in. Everybody's not as prompt as you guys who are here right at noon. Some people takes a couple minutes, so I want to give them a chance to catch up and hop in. Uh, Steve's hand. Somebody hit the mute. And Vinny Yak says, I look like Jimmy Kimmel. I can think of worse guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to guess that there's something on his screen. He needs to kind of uh, yeah, go I, I, Hold on. Way we'll further. Or something. Let, me get, let me get a little further back. No, I can't go back far enough. that. <clears throat> when, you, when you go back far <laughs> enough, I can see that you're, you've switched from medium to large all in your neck. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's where I keep it. I also want to show this. Because I have been having a problem with... Uh, putting things behind my head on your screen. Remember on my screen, I just see empty SketchUp screen. I don't actually have my head floating there. I created this, this little avatar <laughs> out of Post-its. So if I stick that right here at the right spot on the screen, I should be reminded not to put important things right here where my head is. So I went low tech with my solution to that problem. Post-its. So That's the best tech, do. really. It really is. It's I mean, really? Well, I was going to say, if the power goes out, it's still going to work. But if the power goes out, it really doesn't matter if I have, <laughs> if I can see that part of the screen or not. That's gonna it be is still going to work now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's still accurate. Actually, if the power goes out, that'll be the only thing functioning, like, within five feet of me. <laughs> All right. None of, none so, of your computers or laptops? Uh, um, here... <laughs> I'm sorry, I got, I got distracted reading. Yes, I do use a single ear pod, just one during during this. I don't know, there's nothing else really going on around here. I just feel like uh, less weird about how my voice doesn't sound echoey if I, you know, that kind of thing. So, a while back, like towards the beginning of this, this whole pandemic thing for us, uh, I did a model of a Cobra and the, the car. And it was okay. It was heavy though. I mean, right about halfway into the model, I had, I can't remember how many millions of polygons. I made it far too dense, far too quick. And uh, it ended up with some weird shapes, but it was so, so many polygons. I had a hard time fixing it. It was everything I could do to try to just uh, make a solid out of the body. So I wanted to take another crack at it. And uh, I want to do this one totally differently in a model in a totally different way. I want to create a subdivision model. So I'm gonna go in and actually uh, draw the geometry up and use uh, subdivision tools, vertex tools, and quad face tools. Those are the three extensions from TomTom that I'll primarily be using. Um, so Jody can, I could have given Jody a heads up, but well, I, you know, I could keep him on. <laughs> Wait, <stuff>. what? <laughs> so sub D, vertex tools, and quad face tools, uh, all available on the extension warehouse or from TomTom's website. Uh, you can check those out. Um, they're just, they're awesome tools and you get to see how they work. So if you're already using them, it's going to be, hopefully learn something about subdivision modeling. If you don't use them, hopefully be an example of what you could be doing if you got into sub D. Um, so I'm going to make this, the reason I want to do this too, is because it's really easy to make those files too big and unwieldy and that sort of thing. And that's exactly what subdivision modeling does. It lets you keep a low poly model that you can work with and then uh, you can toggle between your, your high poly and low poly views. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring an image in. So I'm gonna go up here, file import. And I have this image, it's the exact same image as, uh oh, it's a GIF. I don't have support for a GIF. All right. Speaking of going lo-fi, <laughs> I'm going to come out here and open it. And I'm just going to do a screenshot of it real quick. You guys who watch this know that this is my favorite way of getting images into SketchUp. I just don't like having to go open photo editing software and say, save this image as a different image. It's just, it's, it's a pain. So hitting a uh, screen capture is going to save as a PNG, which I can just pull directly into SketchUp. So I do have on my UI right now, 
I, as usual, I have my, my menus or my, my uh, tabs over here, my windows over here on the right. On the left side, I did verify that we could, you could see them all. I have the quad face tools. That's this big long one. And this is primarily the, the, the way that quad face tools, those tools are primarily about uh, selection and manipulation of quads. So a quad is a four-sided shape that is broken in the middle. So it's two triangles that, that works together as a single rectangle type shape. Uh, sub, -D, sub D is right here. And then vertex tools I, is actually activated by starting vertex tools. So if I start vertex tools, uh, it will bring up the UI up here as well. So that's all my tools. Just wanna let you know that's where we're starting from. So I'm gonna start in here. I'm gonna go file import and I'm gonna import that uh, screen cap I just did. And I'm just gonna make it nice and big. We can scale it afterwards, but for right now, I'm just gonna be big. So I noticed something here that I don't really know how I missed this, but I, I certainly did. Um, this drawing, this is the same drawing I worked from last time, actually has these two nice little cross sections, which is awesome. So I mean, it actually shows, okay, from the front, I have a cross section right here at the tire. So at the middle of the wheel, it cuts through and it shows here's the, the big outline. And then I assume the smaller is where it comes down to at the front. And then same for the back. At the back wheel, I have this, here's the outside and then here's where it comes down to. So these awesome cross sections that I never even noticed. Um, so I do need to, I wanna try to take advantage of that and, and bring those cross sections in. So here's what I was thinking of doing. Um, I think what I'll do is I will start, so I'm gonna start with a profile this way, a profile this way, and grab my cross sections and bring them all together. So what I wanna do is uh, I'm gonna start by tracing this profile right here. But I wanna trace it in such a way that I will be able to come in and use sub D on it. So what that means is so I'm gonna start with a point where it's gonna be an obvious break. Um, this comes through, so I'm gonna to go to this spot right here and draw a line straight down. And I'm gonna draw a line straight over. And I'll take that over to where this break is. So I'm gonna stop right there. Take this one this way and stop right there. Um, let's here, let's do this. Let's go to styles and our edges, change my, my edge color from, let's go something brighter than that. Let's go bright. That's nice and bright. So Steve said cross sections are where it's labeled one, two, three, four at the bottom. Do you see that? Uh, There's a line directly underneath the car. And it, oh yeah. So this is one, this is two, this is yep. three, this is four. Okay, I thought they were at the tires. That works, let's let's do that. Let's the go tire's ahead. Just the midpoint of the tire. Looks like. Let's do that. Yes. Let's. So let's uh, drop a two Let's right here. No, nope, he didn't mean to say that. It. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just transfer. Uh, <laughs> I'll just make you the driver here, Steve, and I can just be done for today. Um, so was the was the Cobra what Steve McQueen was what he drove, or what did he uh, drive? What was what, what was that infamous Steve McQueen car? That First, I do, do you know, know about all that? Oh. I guess I have no idea what you're talking about because I don't have any idea oh. what you're talking about. Do you know who Steve McQueen was? I do know who Steve McQueen was. <laughs> uh, this is a 68 Mustang GT. Ah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So no, not the same. Yeah, the bullet Mustang. Uh, but supposedly it was cursed. Like it would kill anybody that owned it or something like that. Ah, oh, dang it. Don't you hate when you get a car and it turns out it's cursed? Oh, it says that it sold for $3.74 million back in January of this year. Wow. Ooh. Nice work, Steve. Uh, he didn't even get to spend any of that, though. Well, yeah, that's definitely a downside to not being around anymore. Being dead. Yeah. All right. So I'm trying to... 
basically, oh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to cut this into smaller sections. And what I want to do in general is go just past the line. See that? See what I'm doing there? Uh, because what subdivision is going to do is going to take where the lines are and kind of pull them down a little bit. So this line will end up getting pulled down so that this line and the next line right here will be more in, in line like that. So uh, subdivision modeling is not, well, the way I do it, subdivision modeling is not an exact science. So I uh, just want to want to be fair about that. All right, so this section right here, I guess I'm trying to figure out how to do. I kind of feel like I want to just go over it like that, but I think it does actually slope down. So I'll just do this. I'll just. Uh, he doesn't know I was gonna, I'm going to call him out, but I will recommend uh, checking out Hornox because he has some awesome subdivision modelings. If you look at his page on Facebook, really cool stuff. Feel free to post a link to that, Hornox. All right, so what I'm thinking now is to take this, make it a group, I'm going to set it over here and now come in here and maybe trace uh, this shape so there's my profile one I did that with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So make that Good a grounding. Thanks. So Andy posted a picture on the form. I'm gonna dig it up here. Maybe helpful later. Two, three, Ooh. four. Five, six. I don't, I don't know if this will be helpful or not. Eight. It's possible it might give you a migraine. Whoa, what was that? Oops. <laughs> Andy's picture is just super detailed. All the innards. All right, so I'm going to take these two real quick. Let's, let's, let's vertical them up. All right, I'm going to take this one, drop that down to where point one was. All right, it's got a little bit of reconciliation to go there. Uh, let's see, number two was, uh, probably should have left this where it was. Put this back. Okay. There's number two. So number three, you just get to kind of do whatever you want. That's cool. All right, so I'll start here. Sure One, two, three, four, Richard on Facebook's asking about getting SketchUp for Catalina. The latest version should work on Catalina. If you've got 2020, fortunately, Apple keeps changing what they do on the operating system and it breaks all our old versions of SketchUp. So if you plan on keeping an old version of SketchUp, don't upgrade Mac OS. That'll be there. And then one last one. There 
we go. Just some rough geometry that I can start from when I create my control mesh. Last time I tried to use the profiles. Let's get that right there. I tried to use this top profile to kind of make it, which I mean, I'll still use that as reference, but I think this is going to be a little bit easier. We'll see. I should mention I, I am making everything I do up. I hope I don't disillusion anybody. All right, so let's come in here. And it certainly gonna... doesn't show. My disillusionment? Oh, that I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, your your make up bits. And this looks like a big discrepancy. All right, so now what I'm thinking about is how to, see what I gotta do now is I gotta transition this over one, two, three, four, five sections. This shape has to become this shape. So there's a couple things, let's, you know what I should do? Just cause I wanna fit in, I wanna be, you know, let's call this a new Cobra. Oh, I didn't think we saved anymore. Nobody likes a smart ass, Jody. Except maybe I do. Are you kidding me? Everybody loves a smart ass. That's true. I like how you drank on, you're like so conditioned. You're like, save, drink. Oh, wow. I didn't even think you about even, it. <laughs> did you even notice it? Yeah, you've been drained. <laughs> how about that? All right. So, kind of. Um, Yeah, so, so there's a couple of ideas coming in. Curveloft would be nice. The problem with Curveloft is, uh, one, is it's not going to conform to these breaks. And I do want a subdivided or a subdividable uh, profile here. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking this piece right here, bring it to right here, bring it to right here, bring it to right here, and bring it to right whoop, here. Then I'm just going to scale it vertically like this. I'm a little scared. You should be. That was my Yoda. All right. All right. So then, then I think what I can do is I can take So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna take this to here, to here, to here, to here. I'm gonna to transition to this guy, to here, to here. And you'll be used one more time here. Okay. So this is gonna it's gonna get it's this is gonna be messy, I'll be honest with you. Bring that down to right there. Bring this up to right here. This looks like it lines up, but let's do this just to be certain. And then bring that back down. So this is just to get the initial mesh. I'm leaving these ones because this actually kind of cuts through, right? If I look at the profile here, this roundness gets cut by the cockpit. So I just kind of want to keep it flowing through like that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of this, make a copy. I'm going to set it over here, the distance, just to hold on to. I'm going to take all of this then, make it a group, go into said group and explode it all. Now, uh, what I can do So this is where I need to start. You didn't put this picture on the, on the form, did you? Uh, this is the, actually the same image I used last time. So if you look up uh, Cobra on our forum, it's the exact same file that I used last time. Could you save in storage space on That's the forum? Right. 
I'm thrifty. I'm thrifty. <clears throat> so Just a I, second, I'll dig that up. <clears throat> all right, so I'm seeing how this is not the ideal solution right now because because apparently that's that's how I roll. Oh, that is good. 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 Hmm. I was kind of wondering. Actually, see, this is the this is where I run into a problem. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go like this, and take this across like this. I mean, it'll still get me. This will get me pretty close, but I probably could have been. I probably could have gotten further with some push pulls and some resizings. My biggest problem that I'm going to run into right now is all these stupid shapes have to be uh, filled in. So it looks like I'm just slightly out of plane. With uh, a couple of these things. German said Oops. you should use the vertex tools for that. Save time for creating polygons. Yeah, what? What now? Huh? Huh? Vertex tools? Oh, he might be 30 seconds behind. Uh, to do... Vertex tools doesn't... Oh, to, to yeah, push-pull. Yeah. Um, that's what I was saying. I could have done that. Would have definitely saved me some time. But you wouldn't have gotten to stitch like this, huh? Yeah, well, that is true. I, mean, I am kind of enjoying myself. Sorry. Um, and I think once I get this, yeah, definitely not the not the ideal way to start this. But my profiles are kind of are going to be a little bit easier. Once I get this done. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing? <laughs> All right. This is good. That's that's some nice stalling conversation. I good and you. Where did you do that? Super. Oh. It's Friday. Do you have any big projects for the for the weekend in your uh, in your hot garage? Oi, yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, toasty. It's supposed to get up to mid nineties. That's in Freedom units, by the way. <clears throat> At least today. I don't know what's going to do tomorrow. All right, so there's my wireframe. Um, we'll go ahead and do that too. So now the issue is. This is this is so I'm I'm really doing my best to just kind of roll with this and, and show you guys my thinking as I go through here. Uh, get rid of my interior faces at this point. Whoop! Too much. So, so obviously the problem here right is now. that I have a wireframe. No, yeah, you feel better about this model than you did uh, the last. This model? does. This is definitely feeling better than it did before for sure yeah um that's good yeah that's something all right i'm gonna draw a couple lines over this way this represents the uh the fish mouth it's supposed to rain in the pacific northwest i didn't think it rained there much i thought it was, was known for its aridness sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> maybe not all right. Uh, I'm going to here. I'm going to create a rectangle for the headlight right now. I don't like to use rectangles in places of circles because they don't work. Uh, they don't. They, they don't match. They, they don't subdivide right. 
a, a rectangle subdivides into kind of a, I don't know, squashed down polygon, which is not what actually I'm looking for. All right, that's gonna work, I think. So what I gotta do now is I have to come in and I have to divide these pieces, but these lines, these new lines I draw, I want them to not exist. So I gotta I, I got create quads. Um, this is the part that I was saying I probably could have got, I could have gotten away with a little bit cleaner model by drawing this up a different way. You know, you could also never like smooth or do any of that stuff and just leave it all chunky like this and just say it's a, it's a Tesla Cobra. <laughs> that, I guess that's an option. Um, why did that not disappear? That worked. All right, so I want to just put a couple of these pieces in and then I want to try subdividing it just to see what happens to this front section. So just so you guys know, the subdivision engine, uh, when it looks at these lines, what it actually looks at, oop, I need to do this too. Uh, it not only wants to see it erased like this, but it actually wants to see it not having cast shadow on. That, at least that's the way it used to work. I don't know if Tom Tom's on here, uh, but that's what it used to do. Oops. If I grab those three lines. I bet, I'll bet you Tom Tom's asleep. <clears throat> well, he emailed me not too long ago. I forgot to tell him what I was doing today. You did tell him or you forgot to? I forgot to. Oh. Oops, something's not, ha something's not lining up here. Oh, it's only 8.30. He should be awake. He should. He should. Um, uh, Nerman's suggesting the line in the quad face tool. Are you using that or are you just using a regular a thing, line? That is thing, isn't it? I'm just using a regular line, and I'm realizing as I'm doing this just how dumb that is. That's why it's good that you guys are here. Wait, wait, what? That's neat. You think it's a triangle. It's not a triangle. Wait, how does that thing work? Wait a minute. This one right here, right? Line. <laughs> yeah. Are you clicking? Oh, I came out. I was, I was out of context. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Sounds on me. Try that again. Uh, Boom. All right. I can, only, I can only do so much to help you from here, Aaron. <laughs> You gotta so, help me. Sometimes, out. sometimes, Jody, even I, I can't help myself. <laughs> yes, uh, use the tool that was created specifically to do this thing. That is the one. That is the one that I was looking for, couldn't find, and uh, just started running as fast as I could. <sighs> I, I on, like dude. to feel like I'm a little better about yelling at you than I was the first time you did this. I was still new to this whole yeah. uh, chat thing, but now I'll happily interrupt you with the comments from everybody else. Thank you. That knows Thank what they're much. doing. Uh, okay, something happened here. You got a very satisfied yeah from Nerman. Whew. Thanks, Nerman. All right. <laughs> Kai said his karate teacher would say, form a square circle. <laughs> I think I've heard that. I think I've heard that one before, I too. I have heard that before, too. Uh, I had this problem before where I couldn't get uh, color codes to toggle off. Were we, were you doing this with, without, what were you doing last time? Were you using curve off last time? Or you were yeah. trying to do it without and then at the I end I was trying to do it curve off. Yeah. That's okay. exactly what I was trying to do. Did not work. 
All right, what is going on here? Oh, I think I did. Oh, you know what I did? I know what I did. I, when I was cleaning up, I deleted one of my transitional faces. So the colors you're getting, that's just all, that's what? That's uh, the extension. Uh, yeah. Quad face tools, yeah. Oh, quad face tools. Let's do this. And then let's do... And really, at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff isn't even going to end up mattering because I'm going to come in and move these points around and add loops. So a lot of this really won't matter too much once I'm done. But I do have to break it at least initially before uh, I can use the subdivision tool. So, all right, now I know what I'm doing. It's got, what, why, what? Why are you, don't argue with me. Okay, this is going better, this is going better. Yeah, that's the stuff, look at that wireframe. Ooh, baby. Yes, okay. Going through here. Uh, that one's white. There's definitely some issues going on with my colors right now. I, could, I can say that. So the magenta is the line color that I turned on originally because I want to be able to see on top of the black, the black lines I was drawing on top of. Uh, then I toggled on the color code mesh, which, Wrong line tool. oh, that's why. Cause I'm using the, you can oh, assume every time I correct you on this, that I'm just quoting Nerman. Uh, I don't want you to get the impression that I have any idea how to use sub D or vertex tools or quad face tools or whatever. Okay. All of those. I'll, I'll assume that. I got some I got some problems. I did not snap these to the right lines. All right. Sweet. New line tool. Yeah, could be could be creating a mess here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens cuz cuz we don't know. We don't know what's going on. By we I think you know who I'm talking about. All right. Um, so generally, so one of the other things is, of course, you should save. Yeah. Should I? Should I? No, don't say. Okay. I'm saying live live on the on the wild side, on the edge. Jody just wants to watch the world burn. That's true. I believe it was uh, Wesley Snipes who said some, well, swear words, just want to ice skate uphill or something like that. What was that in? Was that in Blade? Yeah, that sounds like a Blade line. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, so yeah, so this is already, I mean, I know it, it's weird looking. It's crazy looking, it's messy, but uh, this is already feeling better than what we had last time. So yeah, if you use the right tool, man, I'm not really sure. So Norman said for live mesh analysis, Line from quad face tool works best. I'm working. I'm I'm working at Nerman. There we go. So I just erase. This seems to be the easiest. If I erase those two lines, then use the quad face tool line to connect the two. 
which so if I had just taken my profiles and used the quad face tool uh, line command to connect them together rather than the regular lines, I'd be done. I, I, I'd have subdivided this thing by now. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Hey. Yeah, but what happened when you did that, right? Screwed up. It I didn't did. work right. Last yeah, time. I'm 90% sure that was probably me, though. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Just draw a liner over the top. Oh, oh. No, it didn't. All right. Try again. Cool. All right. Um, all right. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. Um, this across to here. Go here vertically, just to snap that straight down. And then take this one across. Uh, Jim, he tried to model this car before using different different tools, different techniques. And by the end of the by the end of the session, it was it was frustrating. Frustrating <laughs> is that a good word for this? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I can see that. I can see that being a, a word you could use to describe modeling cars in general. So, can you uh, explain to me exactly what why why we get different the different colors mean for the different faces? Yeah. So what. What that it's uh, the the mesh analysis. So what the mesh analysis is trying to do is look Herman, at you do that later. the pieces I'm creating. There we go. Okay, so we have something on the back, um, and then uh, it's color coding it based on its quadiness. That's my own term. If it is a proper quad, it's colored one way. If it's a reverse quad, it's Call it another way. If it's an n-gon, which is a, a, a piece with more than four sides, it's colored another way. Um, n-gons apparently are red. I think green is pop is positive, and then uh, purple are reversed. I think. Um, I'm gonna delete that inside there. And then saw one crossing over itself. Nope, that wasn't it. That was this. All right, the problem, and this is an issue that I was having on my computer. I don't know that this is a normal thing, but I was having an issue with being able to toggle it back off. I would put it on, and then I couldn't turn it off again. I'm not sure if that's what's going on right now. Um, so my green ones are good. These are good quads. My purple ones, apparently this means I need some need to show them some love. Something's not right about them. Click on Has it again. anyone else seen these this issue where uh, you can't turn off uh, this? I'm trying to remember. I feel like Tom Tom told me what, what I should do. Marconi said, "Paint the model with the default material." Yeah, I feel like I tried that too, but let's let's. I'm always up for giving another shot. Cody said yes, but I'm I'm not sure what he's saying yes to. All right there, you go. There you go. It looks all white now. Uh, it kind of looks like a Mach 5, which makes me think, why are we making a, doing a Cobra when we could do a Mach 5? Hey, I, don't, but... I don't dislike that. All right, so these faces that are turned inside out are indicating that there's probably something wrong somewhere. So I'm assuming I have some crossing over incorrectly or face on top of face. Hey, this, this was not too bad. This turned out all right. This, what the... What the? Hmm. Try that again. 
All right, so I'm just curious right now, if I just grab it, and if I just hit sub D after I save, let's see what happens. And not too bad. There's some, some ugliness, though. Uh, Ugh. It's not a tumor. Like butter. Obviously, that's a problem. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Now, this is ugly. This this shouldn't be like this. That we can just take right down like that. Um, I don't like how I have these dark lines here. This is indicating that something's not right. Oh yeah, look at that. I had a line over top of a line. That might be where I was getting those weird. Every time I stitched that up, I got something new that was weird. There we go. All right, now I'm wondering, so these parts aren't really quadded, these are triangles. So I'm kind of wondering what the easiest way to clean that up is. If I just come over, if I draw over top of them, does it fix it? Let's see. No, that, that does a weird thing. All right, so if I select these lines, I'm just curious. If I can just, I feel like, so here's the issue I'm running into is every once in a while, Tom, Tom and I will like, he'll just ask, Tom, Tom is great for getting opinions, by the way, anybody who wants to give his opinion on one of his extensions or what he could possibly do, Tom, Tom is, will listen to you, take in your input. Uh, I felt like we were talking about like a quad eraser or something like that. Um, I don't think it ever happened. Now I feel like I want my quad to be here and here. The other thing I should point out is I taught myself quad modeling and uh, I may do things in sort of a, I like to, to call it brute force modeling when there's probably, in some cases there's probably a more elegant way to do some of the things I do. <laughs> it feels like I spend a lot of time trying to figure out the elegant way and then I just, it just keeps me from actually doing the thing. Right. So I and have that's... to do a lot of brute force everything. All right. So, all right, that looks good. So the front half of that looks, looks tidy. Um, the back half actually looks pretty good. That actually turned out looking pretty nice. So I'm going to hit, uh, oh, here, I don't like this. I want this. I'm just going to bring a line out and then line over and then I'll connect. Norman said two. convert triangles in quad face tools. Is that still? That is, applicable? yeah, that is exactly what I should be doing. Yes. How do I transfer uh, control of this entire session to him again? I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> control shift Z. <laughs> That's the one. All right. Uh, yes, that would have been, oh, this is ugly. That shouldn't be, nor should that be. So I think what I'll do is I'll just run a line Oh, it's not. He said he just said no. No. Oh. I don't know if that's because he doesn't want you to transfer it to him. Fine. I'll just sit here and do my job then. All right, let's let's okay. try subdividing that. All right, that looks pretty cool. This looks weird, but I think that uh, it's not wrong. It's just weird based on how I have the mesh. Sweet. All right. So Marconi is wondering why you select don't cast shadow when you hide edges. Uh, that, like I said, I believe that. What that does is that is how the subdivision engine knows that that's a quad. Because remember, SketchUp doesn't really have quads. It doesn't know what a quad is. The concept of a quad is uh, really just created by the extension itself. So by going in there and telling it that uh, when it sees, here, I'm do this. So when it also, sees this Hornet line. Said like that Hornet said at the top of the rear fender, you need to change the diagonal. Oh, I got to This is, yeah, this is a whole mess back here. Let's start up front. <laughs> you got a lot of All junk right. in the trunk. I do, but, but my quads look good. So if I turn, so I have a thing going on there, but that'll be good. I want to come over here. Whoop, nope. Hold up. One more. All right. Uh, oops. Yeah, so 
I was trying to get I was trying to use those profiles. I thought that'd be kind of a cool way to do it, but that was that was a little bit not as smooth as I was hoping. Um, all right, I want to take this. On, let, let's make that uh, that iconic front fender shape. So I'm going to use vertex tools for that, and I'm going to grab this, pull it up. Uh, Norman Norman said with flip triangulation. It's fun. I just sometimes repeat what he says, but I don't really know what I'm saying. That's cool. I mean, sometimes I say like stuff that. that I say, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sounds safe. I, I, I see no way that that could possibly go wrong for anybody ever. What, what could possibly go wrong? All right, so let's subdivide that, see how that looks. All right, that's, see, we're getting, we're already getting that, that kind of general shape. Right here, obviously, we need a harder crease coming back like that, and then it's got to kind of tie and wrap around. So that's this right here. So I'm going to use vertex tools to move points. I'm going to take this point and slide it over because that should be in line with this over here. Uh, this point right here looks like it has to go up a little. Actually, this is going to, I'm going to make this my crease. So I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to pull this and this and this. I'm gonna grab all three of those points and just push them down and see if I can make that make that shape that I want there. I also feel like I wanna grab them and I wanna pull them over a little bit, like that more. And this is a perfect spot to talk about flipping triangles. Flipping triangles! Um, this crease right here is obviously going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. See, that's how it's sharp and sticks out. And that's where I can use uh, flip triangles to whoop, Whoa, it doesn't want to flip that one. Why, why do you hate that triangle? All right, well, I'll just do it manually. I'll show you. Ah. Uh -huh. We've all, we've, yeah, we, I've proven over and over again, I'm not above manually making a mess here. All right. So I have not heard of this. Marconi said you should try the Zorro 2 extension, and now I'm wondering what that is. It sounds like a stitching. It sounds perfect for a, a fan of stitching. It, well, it sounds like it's, it's taking away what I like to do. I mean. Oh. Yeah. yeah okay, maybe. Like a video game that plays itself. So Norman just did the icon for wash hands, which I think maybe means he's washing his hands of this thing. Maybe he's leaving. He's walking he's away. Out. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, there we go. Now it's coming to stop it. Now it's coming together. See, I'm starting to get that that stop it. Stop it. All right, so I got to exit uh, out of the group. The, it's called wash hands, but it looks like a clap when you actually go to YouTube. I just see a little typed That's out this? typed out code. Yeah. <laughs> didn't I didn't realize that that icon actually was wash hands. So even Jody could learn something on this live stream is what you're saying. Yay. If I try. I'm I'm busy spending all my time just trying to think of like pithy little comments. That sound clever. Jody's getting piffed. Nerm Nerman, Nerman said, use space before you press sub D. What does that mean? Oh, we seem to, get, to keep from getting that, that message I was getting. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that looks all right. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is that maybe a little bit, a little, little too high. So I'm going to pull that back down a little bit. I'm going to pull... This right here, out. Uh, whoops, wrong right. button. I have uh, sub to V degree. mapped to U and vertex tools mapped to V. Sometimes we I hit the wrong one. Are we doing something that, that's kicking off the take a drink drinking game? Save? Uh, are you saying layer instead of tag? <sighs> I don't remember all the reasons to take a drink anymore. Yeah, sorry guys. Rude. All right. Uh, I want to crease this thing now. So one of the things I, so the way that subdivision works too, I should point this out, is that, 
Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, no, hold up. So one thing at a time. Uh, the way subdivision works is everything should be ideally be four sided, but the subdivision engine does work okay with triangles too. It, it gets a little weird with the creases, but uh, I definitely want to crease right here. So I'm gonna replace this hidden line with a, just a standard line on top. That's gonna let me grab these lines like this and then come over here to the subdivision icon or the subdivision toolbar and use crease to put like a fairly hefty, like an 80% crease right there. Then when I subdivide, it should give me kind of that crease right there like that. All right, not too bad, not bad. Um, I don't hate this. All right, uh, I'm gonna right, come in right here. Right now it sort of reminds me of the, the land speeder from episode four. I can see that. Um, I'm going to take this. I want to try to get this more round. So I'm going to uh, take that, grab with the vertex tools, and just scale those two points across like that. Like I said, circles don't, or, or rectangles, squares, rectangles don't turn into perfect circles. They turn into kind of squared circles, like, like we were talking about earlier. So if you break them once like oh. this, then it turns into closer to a circle. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these edges and I'm going to crease those two. I'm going to take those to 100%. There we go. Now that's that helps it make a little more identifiable too. And see that shape coming together. Delete that cross line on the lights and use vertex tool to create a hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, we're, next week we're going to have Nerman actually get on. He's going to be just kind of sitting there <laughs> offering audio commentary. Keep you on track. To create a hole. I have no idea what you're talking about, so I'm going to leave it for right now. We're going to come back to this. We're, the, the, the light will get better. Really what I wanted right now, I'm not saying you're wrong either. I fully think that whatever you're saying is probably right. <laughs> what I needed was just a, a, a point of reference. So this is where my headlight is. So I can kind of see where does my that ridge go. So you can see right now, if I look at it, it's flat right here. It should go up and then carry this. The other thing is it kind of goes out too far. It should be more... The ridge of this kind of rounded piece should be over the top. So I'm kind of thinking what I need to do is do some severe shifting of geometry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this. I'm going to turn on vertex tools. I'm going to grab this, 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 and this. And I'm going to scoot them so that they're more in line with the light and bring them up a little bit. See what I'm doing? I'm kind of moving the whole geometry over. Uh, this point right here probably needs to go up and over as well. I didn't realize there was a sub sub D Facebook group or whatever. There is. Which is where I end up when I search for Hornox. So then I'm going to take these three points right here. And I'll be honest, like subdivision work seems to me, and, and this may just be, because like I said, I'm, I fully admit to kind of kind of hacking this workflow together. Uh, somebody might, Hornox might, might say, uh, you know, he's got a, a more nailed down workflow. But what I, I, I liken it to sculpting, where I go in, I start moving some pieces around and look at it and then move some more. Um, so if I take that and subdivide it, oh yeah, look at that, much closer to the shape I'm looking for. So at this point, I have a little bit of a ridge. You can see that, see how that's, I need to, I need to straighten out that little, that's the technical term. Uh, so I can do that. Let's see, if we take this point, bring it over just a little bit more, see if that looks better. If you press space before you hit sub D, that wouldn't happen. I'm trying to remember that. <laughs> That's why I'm helping you remember. Axis. Yeah, I know. Because I got a shirt that says it. Duh. Yeah, I should put a mirror <laughs> on your monitor so you can see your screen. I haven't had to say chest, this chest word screen. yet today. 
That's right. It's good. That's, that's right. Good point. All right. So that's looking pretty good. So this this ridge is a little lumpy right now, but what I'm kind of thinking, uh, if I come over here, and uh, we can actually shrink this up. Uh, if we go to sub D and pull up my sub D entity info and pick this, uh, it's only on iteration one, so I can actually take it and maybe bump it up another level and see if that how how much that smooths out. It looks that looks a lot better. It's still a little janky right here, so I probably need to go clean this up. So if I unsubdivide, let's see, let's come in here. First thing I want to do is make sure I don't have any extra. Okay. Sometimes you have geometry crossing over itself. It gets a little weird. I feel like I need to reverse this one, which is not working. Okay, I'll just do it manually again. See if that makes any difference when I subdivide that. It looks better. Got a nice smooth line coming down here. Um, if I look it's at my look like a car, yeah, it's looking better. So I kind of got that. I feel like I need to pull it over even more though, so that 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 hood line actually needs to come over quite a bit more. So I'll unsubdivide. And I'll just start by, I'm just going to start by moving as little geometry as I can. So I'll try just grabbing just that line and scooting over vertex tools. The reason I should point this out too, the reason I'm using vertex tools rather than regular move commands or, or any regular commands is vertex tools honors my subdivision information. Uh, auto fold can actually come in and just kind of decimate uh, your, infer, your, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Subdivision information, so your quads. It can actually go and just kind of tear them all apart. So that's why I keep using vertex tools. Let's see how that looks. All right, that's looking better. Uh, this point has to go up. Yeah. Right, let's take that, raise that up so it's kind of in line with that. That looks good. Uh, I do feel like I want to reverse this too. Generally speaking, I don't know if this is, man, what is going on? That's just, just does not like my uh, lines. I also feel like I have one, two, three, four triangles next to each other. I feel like this should be quadded out, not a bunch of triangles. So let me try grabbing these two lines. And so is this, that's really just what sub D is, is just going in and changing your triangle oh. sizes and shapes. Yeah, look, look look what that difference that made though. Looks good. Basically just mirror this sucker and you're done. I'm pretty much. Um, <laughs> so another thing you guys will notice, I did, I deleted the face on the inside. That was, so obviously I'm modeling half of this because I don't want to model this all twice. So I'm gonna model half of it and flip it. That's. You, I, I know you guys already figured that part out. Uh, the reason, whoops, missing a line. Uh, the reason that I took that off is what the subdivision engine will do is any place that uh, the lines just end like this, it won't pull them away. So it'll still, it's gonna subdivide along this way and make those into a smooth arc, but it won't pull this face back. If there was another face, so if, if I had this, then this corner is going to get pulled into the subdivision. So it'll come off of the face here. So I either have to select all this and pin all these, make those all go to 100, or just delete the face, and then it will by, naturally just leave it there, uh, which is what we want in this case. All right, cool. So this is looking good. Uh, let's let's make the let's make the fish mouth. The the this baby fish mouth. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, baby fish mouth. Uh, classic. All right, so classic. What's his name? 
he's, Bruno he's Kirby. Passed away. Yeah, he's gone. Is he? Yeah. That's back bummer. in 2006. Holy crap, that was a long time ago. It was. I, did not I know didn't that. realize that he was also in uh, City Slickers, The Godfather. That I didn't know. No, he's in the. Yeah, yeah, Godfather too. Maybe both. I don't know. All right, so uh, if I check hidden, I can see these two front faces where I want to put the fish mouth in. Um, I know that's not the technical term. I know it's it's a fishy mouth, but I like to, you know, keep it short. Fish mouth. Um, but Nervous where said this you're missing is, those quads. So there's no quads. So they're, they're open rectangles, which is nice because this makes it a lot easier to go in and modify them. So one thing I'll have to do is this piece right here right now, of course, is not a quad. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. So I'll have to pin this back like that and this like this. So right now, again, I can just subdivide it and that's what it looks like. And I kind of get an idea of where that hole is going to be. Um, what I need to do now is I need to actually push this in. So there's a couple ways I could go about this. One is with an extension. So if, if I push pull, obviously I'm going to get this because those two quads aren't parallel. They're actually, you know, angled away from each other. So that's not going to work. That's going to, I could do that and then clean it up, but that's going to be a lot of work to clean up. So something else I could use is joint push pull from Fredo. Most, I, I, I want to say all, but I'm not 100% sure, but I know most of Fredo's uh, extensions honor quad geometry. So if you have quad geometry, uh, you can use most of Fredo's tools on it and it won't mess them up. It won't do the auto fold thing and, and, and goof them up. Um, the other thing I do is I can actually pretty quickly push this in manually because what I can do is I can take this, this shape, and just use regular move. I'm going to use the modifier key option and I'm pull it straight back along the red axis. Axis. I actually didn't say axes <laughs> or axis. I said something totally new. <laughs> and said it sounded like it was almost a square word. <laughs> oh, covered my axis on that one. Okay. So I'm going to pull Real it nice. back to red Real axis. Nice. Boom. So now it's straight back. I can get rid of these, and now I can just real quick, with just a couple lines, connect them back. I'm not opposed to using joint push pull. I like joint push pull a lot, uh, but this is pretty simple. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys uh, that as an opportunity of how you could clean that up. I want to get rid of that again, and then I can try hitting sub D and see how that looks. It's looking pretty cool. Let me um, it again. Delete the middle line and use vertex tools. <laughs> you want to go inside that group? Oh my gosh! Oh, darn. Third trust germ, guys. All right, she's saying like this. Use control to extrude, extrude vertices. Oh, vertices! I got what you're saying. Yeah, that. So, and I could say. Andy, not wanting to be left out, also has some. Modeling advice, he said, hit Command S. <laughs> All right, anyhow. <laughs> he said, Nerman said, before, not now. It's too late. <laughs> I know, we're past that. Ah, this 20-second uh, hiccup. I know. Okay, so he had also recommended, uh, like, checking out Forrest Gimp's uh, cars that he did on the sub D Facebook group. Holy cow. If you yeah. ever thought if someone has ever tried to say you can't make cool stuff in SketchUp, organic looking models, they apparently have not messed with sub D nor looked at anything Forrest Gimp has done because this is insane. Pretty impressive, huh? Very impressive, huh? All right. So there we go. I would definitely. Have... I would have oh, guessed he downloaded a model somewhere else and then imported it into SketchUp. Okay, carry on. All right, so it does kind of tilt down a little bit. Uh, the other thing I might want to do is, so I might go here. Let's see, we'll go grab that line and then use vertex tools. Push that 
down and over. So one of the nice things about vertex tools, I'll point this out too, is you can, you can do what would otherwise be destructive geometry. You can pull stuff through and uh, vertex tools will allow you to fix those problems. So uh, don't ever get worried like you're, uh, you know, making too big of a mess as you move vertices around vertex tools. It's very forgiving. Uh, I might actually just grab this too. Oops. Here's the other thing. Keep an eye on this number up here if you're using vertex tools. So I just did a quick select to try to grab these two points and it's telling me there's three points selected right now. So if I flip back here and see I grabbed one more point right here. I don't want Whoopsie. that. Whoopsie. So that sounds like it's spoken by somebody who may have done that once or twice before. That's this guy. All right. Um, I'm also going to come in here and grab these three edges and crease them to 100. Crease them to 11. And that's just going to get me that. Over 9,000. Solid. Solid. Okay, how's that look? Looks good. It needs to come over further, though. Okay, so. Norman said use ignore back face. Would that, would that fix your problem? Is <laughs> back face sort of like if you're, if, if you're two faced? <laughs> I didn't know I had a problem. <sighs> Wait, I, again, I'm not doubting you at all, Norman. I, I, I totally trust or believe what you're saying is probably valid. I just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> The words you're using are good words. They're, They're just not words in my vocabulary. You say. Right. I just don't know. I don't, I don't know where to look or what? Use vertex tools and right mouse click. Top, very top option there. For, for, for why, why would I do that? If, was he trying to say, maybe he's trying to solve your weird, you selected step in the distance. Oh. I'm not sure. I don't know. He said he's not going to talk anymore. So I got gotcha. you. Is that what it does? No, I've, I've never. That's that's good to know. I have not ever used that before, actually. So I appreciate that. All right. Yeah, and education happening on both sides of the microphone. That's you got. It's funny because it, I know like people throw out the e word, the x word, and I don't. I I don't claim to be an expert of SketchUp by any means, um, and I have. Uh, you know, lots of people have said things like that, but you guys be surprised how often I learn things by doing these streams too, where I just, your input helps me a lot. Um, that's awesome. Like I, like I said, I've been using vertex tools for years. Um, and I didn't even know that was there. So I appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, I do have an ugly thing happening here where this, uh, face is cutting the wrong way. So I'm going to try my luck again with reverse. Oh, hey, it works. Let's subdivide that. If you hit space before you did that. I one. just did it afterwards. I, I'm <laughs> learning slowly. <laughs> Since you're not using the A word today, then I suppose I, I have to pick a different little nitpick. Uh, thanks, buddy. I know. It's in the interest of my own modeling skills or whatever. <laughs> All right. This is looking, this looks like eight bajillion times better than That's your previous Cobra. Definitely feeling better. I feel I feel a lot better. All right, I do feel like I want to bring this this ridge up just a little bit. Well, maybe not. Actually, it kind of looks nice right there. All right, so another thing that happens is, uh, so this is lower. And what happens is it steps up to right here. Let's see, right there. And then it has that uh, air intake. So that, that vent actually steps up higher. So let's take a look at that. When I say something like, let's take a look at, I'm not, that's not a code for like, I got a lesson. I'm like, I, I wonder how we could do that. Uh, I'm going to pull this down a little bit. That's a little bit lumpy. So right here, I'm just going to come in and draw a line straight up and parallel to this line and put a line here straight up like a that. All right, now I'm going to use the verte or the quad face tool lines. Oh, look at that. 
God, that worked out so well. But I want to break this one back out. All right. And now I'm going to grab this line and this line. Increase them. I think I'm going to go to 80% like I did on the hood and just see what happens. Okay. I'm going to be honest, this, this, this makes SketchUp too easy. Or at least look too easy. It's, that's what I do, Jody. That's what I do. Oh, is it you? You're making it look too easy? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. Gotcha. I'm going to take this one right here and I'm going to crease it to 100. Maybe. I'm saying that as a question because we're going to see what happens. Yeah, that looks okay. I'll just nod and smile. I that's what I'm doing. Like this. So, uh, one of the things you can do, I don't do this very often. Uh, I'm going to save. You can actually crease in sub D mode. So, while it's subdivided like this, I can actually come in and grab crease and play with relaxing that out a little bit. Uh, I, like I said, I don't use it very often because it is it can be really slow. So I actually want this out a fair bit like that. What I want to have happen is I want this to pull back though. So I'm gonna try doing this. I'm gonna to go to crease and I'm gonna grab not a line, but an, a point. So I'm gonna grab that point and pull that point back and see, yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. I want something like that. And I'm gonna to have to do the same thing here. I'm not seeing And then maybe I'll go to this line, pull that back a little more. That looks better. So there is a difference between creasing uh, single lines and creasing points. Points are going to pull the pull everything connected back to it to its original point where it was. Uh, a line is going to lessen the amount of subdivision between the two intersecting faces. So. By, by grabbing a line, looking at the, where the line is in profile, you're controlling how much it's going to stay at where it was originally and how much it's going to loosen into the subdivision. Uh, points take everything that's connected and say, come back to where I started out. So that's kind of how that, that works. I like it. I think it's looking, that's looking kind of cool. It looks too tall, though. Let me, let me... Yeah, Laura's tiny next to it. Okay, I meant, I meant this part of the hood, but... Oh. That too. So I'm gonna grab that chunk, vertex, and drop. I tried, it to, I tried to summon Tom Tom, but he's he's ignoring my my comments. It happens. So you're on your own. That's good. I got this. I got this. All right. You don't uh, need him anyway. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna come in here. This this is just a so one of the things that that happens a lot in. Uh, or, or my workflow happens a lot, is when I get to pieces like this, so I get to a quad that's broken, if I wanted to come in and put geometry on top of that, one of the things I use a lot is to select both these pieces, go to Vertex Tools, and use Make Planar. When, as soon as I hit Make Planar, it's gonna make it one flat plane, so I can erase that, and now I can put geometry on here however I want to interact with it. Um, fortunately, I want to put an intake, or I'm put a hole in this intake right here. I don't even have to do anything because it's already a rectangle. So I can just grab these three sides, and I can offset them down a little bit. I do have to make sure to quad it out again. And then in this case, what happened there? Oh, probably didn't go long enough. There you go. Uh, Andy said the air intake needs to be aligned to the green axis, otherwise it will not work when you when you merge them. Like the air won't flow in. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> smart Alec. You're pretty funny, don't you? You know how I feel about smart smart smartiness. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna take that. that for you to say. Let's try that. Let's let's just let's just try it. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's just hit it. See what happens. Okay, so this corner got a little harsh. 
Got a little hard there. This got a little, that's okay. Actually, I kind of like, I'm okay with that on the inside right now. We got to get those lines, but this right here is an issue for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my crease. What is causing that to be so very sharp? Idiot. Or never mind. I'm not going to say it. Okay. Oh, had some issues here. Oh, excess. All right. No. So this, this is a big, this is a big tell. If you subdivide and get something like this, it's telling you that that <laughs> was an end gone. So it had more than four sides and subdivision engine went in and broke it. The problem I'll show you was right here. That line was not a full line. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything connected there and then bring a new line all the way back. Get rid of this. Do the same thing on the back piece. Get rid of that, and then I'll have a little teeny line there. Nope. Got it. Take that back to here. All right, let's try that again. Subdivide. All right, so that got better. Still have an issue here. So if I look at what I have, 80, 80. Huh, I wonder why I'm getting such a harsh angle there. Let me try this. Let me grab this. Scoot it over, drop it down a little bit. There we go. That's more. Ah, got to hit space before I do that. Set it for you, Jody. All right. Gets me I that appreciate, appreciate it. intake. I don't think this actually has a bump here like this, though. I'm pretty sure what happens is that is going to go straight down into the hood. So let's see if we can do that. Um, how will we do that? If I take, you know what? Uh, so what I'm tempted to do is take this, take vertex tools and just slide it back, slide it down. But the problem that's going to cause obviously is right over here, right? Cause that's, that's dumb. That's ugly. Don't want it. Let's see. Subdivide it. That's not as dumb and ugly as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> You're not dumb and ugly. Thanks, buddy. Um, it's okay. But All right. I'm yeah. going to put a I'm going to put a nice high res picture on the page. You're definitely right. There's no bump there. Yeah. If I take this vertex back a little bit, see what happens when I subdivide that. Hey, you know what? That's that's almost okay. Hi, praise. Hi, Jody. <laughs> oh, that's not what you're saying. I, I mean, I don't usually call you praise, but I know it's kind of weird. But whatever. I was just trying to roll with it. Ooh, I don't know if that's right or not, but I like the way that looks. That looks. Wait, let me see. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't think it, well, I don't know. It's hard to uh, tell. I'm just supposed to like picture. Said, it's not right. A high res picture on the forum, so. I don't know if it's right, but it, it looks cool. It does look good. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty, yeah, it looks pretty right, I think. Is it too fierce? Is it too, is it too aggressive? <laughs> You're too it, aggressive. It does go back pretty far. It does, does come out. <laughs> it looks cool. Well, on the real thing, it, it, it's not like a scoop like that. It goes to a, just a, a screen to let the air in. Um, oh, there, the, there we go. Picture showing up now. Yeah, it definitely it drops straight down. It doesn't it doesn't come out quite that far, but but that's cool looking. All right, <laughs> we'll do a, a few moves here. All right, but this is what we're here for. We're trying. We're trying to to actually. So what I what I feel like I want to do now is just get rid of a couple lines. Start start making things, and see what happens. Yeah, that's what. Well, so that's what Hornock, Hornock said is just avoid the lower step. Yeah. The problem I'm having, and this is this is totally 100% user error 
I, uh, I have a shortcut key on my mouse that is line tool. So even while I'm in this tool, after I draw one line, I will click that next line button with my thumb. All right, so now this, this creates an interesting thing that's gonna happen. So this looks okay. This will probably subdivide just fine. Maybe a little bit of cleanup I can do. I could probably pull this forward a little bit, but that's just all gonna be fine. Um, what's gonna happen is, whoa, I just made a thing that I did not like. Some extra connected geometry under here. Sometimes you gotta go under the hood and clean things up. That's right. Just uh, put um, out your Allen wrenches and hex keys and stuff. So this this is the problem is that I have an end gun here because it has one, two, three, and this little return is four sides. So even if this is a straight line, as soon as it's broken by another line, it turns into another side. So I need to make sure that I break that. Like I said, triangles are okay in a pinch. Uh, that'll probably subdivide okay, but I do have to remember to include that. Otherwise, so if, I, if I don't make sure to put that in, then it's going to, on its own, take care of geometry, and that means it's gonna probably get messy. Because that's when it creates that star and it just stuff happens. All right, let's subdivide and see how that looks. Oh, ooh, well, that's not gonna work right there. That's looking okay. That's looking, we gotta stuff fix this happens. up. Oh, this over here, not so good. Ooh, never mind. I was gonna say I was looking pretty good, but <laughs> little uh, wrinkle in the hood there. I think what happened. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look at my creasing. So I can get rid of this crease. Get rid of this crease. I'll bring this one back up. What in the world? Oh, you know what? I know what's going on here. I have some extra geometry somewhere. Something's pulling from the other side. Look at that. Get rid of that there. Try that again. There we go. That's better. Awesome. All right, so the last thing, the only thing I might, that's actually, looking at that drawing, it's not a bad, it actually does kind of curve under a little bit. So I may actually even crease this just just a touch so maybe like 50 percent uh and then i will definitely come in here and crease the spit out of this thing 100 percent. all right let's simplify that oh yeah that's the stuff cool all right that is looking so Super sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Uh, so that carries through. Let's, uh, let's jump on this back end a little bit here. So this, <laughs> it really looks like something. Well, that's something I like. Uh, I have some weirdness. So this actually looks okay. This So this right here is all right because that's what happens. And then it immediately... Yeah, it just kind of shudders and falls apart. <laughs> uh, bad things happen. I like that. So what we want to do is we want to keep this ridge going up and kind of nice smooth curve all the way to the back. And then the back should curve right around. So this is, this is too harsh of an angle right here, right here. And then this drops down where it should come back up. So looking at this, I feel like what I really need to do is this crease, this, this all looks okay. Basically, this piece right here either has to continue or go away from the beginning. I think I want to include it. I want to, I want to, I want to, Ooh, that's a mess. Who did this? <laughs> All right. So Some I'm going to, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna come in here and uh, break that like that. Delete that, delete that, delete that. And same thing. And I, I'm totally arbitrarily just picking points to draw right here. I don't care where they're at because I'm going to move them immediately. So 
all I want to make sure I have is uh, a line there. I don't care where that line is because uh, it's going to get moved around by vertex tools in just a few minutes anyways. Uh, I guess I can terminate it right there then. Nope, because this is still... I'll terminate that there. I made some weirdness on the inside. That was fun. All right, I'm going to subdivide to see how that works. All right, looks okay. Um, anytime I see this happening, see this hard piece right here? One of two things is going on. One is like we saw up front. It means it has connected geometry. So I would want to fix that up. Is that a white paste? Nope. Um, two is that it is facing the wrong way. So when the subdivision engine goes and it subdivides and makes smooth connections between those two planes, it pulls them based on the direction of the face. So you can see right here, this is pulling the opposite direction where it should go nice and smooth over like this. It's pulling the other way because that face is reversed. So making sure all your faces uh, are faced the right way before you subdivide is going to make a big difference in how smooth the geometry you get. Okay. Enough of that. Let's uh, let's get this thing let's get this thing looking gooder. Oop, wrong button. U and V aren't even near each other on the keyboard. I don't know why that's such a struggle. All right, let's go ahead. They look similar in your in your brain though. So U and V. I guess. I guess I think it's probably something to do with the fact that I use one right after another in this workflow. I don't know. There's all kinds of excuses I can come up with. Renock said there is one wrong diagonal. Nope. This one? Maybe. Yeah, I gotta, so I want to definitely want to reverse this guy. That guy. I don't know what's going on here. I have a feeling I'm going to tear this apart and I don't know. Let's, let's start by bringing this over here. All right, that's looking okay. Uh, let's, let's subdivide and see. Okay, we're getting there. It's curving when it should, and it should be fairly straight. So kind of we'll bring this line the fenders do come out a little bit, so but right now I kind of want this to be a clean line right here. So I think what I'll do and grab, pull that back in, pull that back in. better. These pieces up higher, a uh, little, little far out. Far out. Groovy, man. So I'm going to just grab this, this, and this, and scoot them on in. All right. And same thing, grab these three, pull them in a little bit too. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. So I'm gonna pull this back out. Got a, got a crease there and I don't know why. Same thing with these guys. Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. This sort of looks as, uh, as fiddly as, as stitching. <laughs> well, like I said, this is this is definitely where I would talk. I would I would liken this to sculpting for sure. Um, all right, and I'm seeing where I can clean this all up. So this we had to break it apart, add another chunk to it uh, right here. 
grab this. I'm going to vertex tool that up. I did just use vertex tool as a verb. Uh, I think that's appropriate two. usage, though. I'm going to vertex this so much. This Didn't right know, here. Called you, called you a Michelangelo. Which I don't know why I'm telling you that out loud, because now it's going to go to your head. It is. Michelangelo is that guy who works at the music store. He's a nice guy. Right. No, no, no. He's a uh, Ninja Turtle. Oh. Yes. For Leonardo, but I'll take Michelangelo. I think I peaked. Good night. <laughs> and I'm out. I got to go tell my kids some things. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you're so cool, don't you? Um, all right. So what I'm, what I'm thinking about here is this right here. For some reason, this comes back and terminates in. And I can't find a good spot to use that geometry. I guess if I do my wind or my, uh, I guess I could leave it for where I bring the, the wheel well out. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave it alone. Pull this all. Yeah, that looks cool. I'll just leave it. Never mind. Um, Cause I'll make a transition into the wheel well. All right. So I need to clean up this. I got this dimple right here. And that's just a matter of pulling a couple points up and out. So this is gonna come up, just go over. Right here, up, over. Uh, there's definitely a little bit of a lag with the 3D mouse while in vertex tools. Definitely picking up on that. Oh, is that what you've got in your left hand there? That's right, my friend. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy back over this way a little bit. So does everything exert, exist in kind of a non-subdivided and subdivided space at the same time when you're using this tool? Like you're not undoing after you use a sub D to, to do everything, right? Or are you? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm subdivided. I'm just going back and forth between, so just tapping you goes subdivided, unsubdivided. Um, and it remembers what level of subdivision to apply. It is, as far as I understand, again, TomTom Tom can correct me on this, but I believe that what's happening is it is, uh, it does recalculate and re-smooth based on your changes to, this is called the control mesh. So every time I make a change to the control mesh and hit subdivide, subdivide it goes through and remakes it. Um, yeah, that turned out pretty good. So, I like that. So you're always, so you are, you're basically undoing, but you're not using the undo command. It's just a Yeah, it's more like toggling update. between states, I think would be a, a fair oh, okay. way to say it. Uh, so uh, it exists in two states at once. Andy had a quick question. He said, can you create a face in Vertex Tools? Uh, Vertex Tools doesn't let you draw. It's a manipulation tool. So okay. I have... So no. Right. Well, I shouldn't say that 100%. Um, let me think through. Now, that Vertex Tools currently just lets you go through and manipulate existing geometry. So you're not going to be able to uh, go in and create anything. So, yeah. Uh, so I feel, Herman I feel, said, yes, they do. Well, then, whatever. <laughs> but, I mean, what does he know? It's not like he's been correcting you all day yeah. or pointing out your missteps. Uh, also, um, yeah. Lawrence had a comment. All right. He said he went to the op opt optician and was told he was colorblind. He said that came totally out of the green. Nailed it. 100%. Yeah, I feel like I should <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. All right. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> Nerman said, if you select a few vertices and then use control and pull, it'll create a face. That's true. Cause yeah. So, cause when you, when you go to move something with vertex tools, you can, uh, hit the modifier key to create like, similar to move the way move works in, uh, regular sketchup. You can do the same kind of thing, uh, with vertex tools you can say, create a new face. So yes, I guess technically, that is true. Um, I was thinking more like you wouldn't, true. it doesn't have the, the tools in there to go in and start 
drawing new shapes so much. Well, there you right. go. There you All go. right, this is looking pretty good. This right here does have to go up higher. So I think I'm gonna grab, actually I might grab that face right there to start with and pull that up. And then maybe I'll grab these two. Yeah, buddy. So once you've subdivided a mesh, can you go back in and edit the vertices on that? Or do you only get to do it in the initial control? You can mesh? actually. So I could come in right here. Uh, I could turn up, if I go into, stop it. If I come in here and I hit vertex tools, it'll actually show me all the vertices uh, on that mesh. So yes, you can. Okay, cool. So, uh, one thing I want to do here is I do want to put a crease. Every time, that? Every time you say something, every time you say something, Nerman says the opposite. <laughs> well, I, I will, I'll, I'll argue with you on that one. Cause I can come in here I can grab this point and I can pull it right up out of that subdivided mesh. <laughs> come on, Nerman, give me one. <laughs> You've gotten all the rest, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're fine Norman this is totally it's good you're here don't don't, don't do not don't apologize do this. <laughs> nor normally I mean if, if anybody's like feeling left out it's Dave because normally he does this for me <laughs> that's right but so Dave said early on that he was splitting time between being in here with us and in his shop so that's perfectly valid all right so I'm gonna smooth out this right here. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this line and this line. The hood doesn't actually go back very far, but like maybe that line. And I'm gonna crease that like I did on the front, maybe like 80%. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, so we've gotten to the point where, what time is it? Oh, it's not, wow. 140. Dang. I'm going to just sit here for about 30 minutes. You know, what we could do is just sort of, just for fun, go over and quickly model up, uh, the Tesla truck. <laughs> Cause that won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> we should do, we'll do, we'll do that as a speed model at the beginning of whatever happens next week. First five minutes, Tesla truck, and then we'll do something else. Actually, speaking of which, you want to throw together a, a poll for next week, Jody? No. Oh, yeah, I hey, guess so. Nerman, can you, tell, what... can you tell Jody to do a poll? <laughs> uh, like for what we want to model? Yeah. Or what we want to do? Let's, let's throw some ideas out. Because we had a couple few uh, that we were thinking about. One... Oh, that's not ready. I'm typing. That's not bad. So not we typing. talked about, uh, because it has been requested, we threw out the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Good. It would be a fun one to, to model. Um, where were the other two that you mentioned? Oh, something. We found out we had a lot of Red Dwarf Birds. fans. So oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know if there's a ship from Red, Red Dwarf, but that was an option. Um I'm sure someone doing? will will offer that one up. I'll wait while I wait for someone to tell tell me the name of something worth modeling in Red Dwarf. Nerman says we should do the inside of the TARDIS, which I mean is bigger, you know. Or he's wondering if we do the inside. I don't know. Well, basically, what, what do we got for ideas for for next week? We're feeling uh, like we. Let me go. So we've done it. We've done a car now. We've. Uh, we have recently done architectural modeling, so we're kind of, we were wondering if there's a good, you know, fun. Joel said next week we have Nerman live model a different car. <laughs> Boom. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm just. Uh, uh, let's see. 
So the we, Enterprise, we did, Andy, we did do uh, Big Ben and, and Serenity a while back. Do what? Uh, Andy was asking if we've done Big Ben, and, and I was saying we did. Oh. All right. So. A baby bootlegger? What's that? Like a little Al Capone? It was an American wooden built speedboat designed by George Crouch in 1924. I didn't so know that not Al Capone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's kind of cool. I'll throw it on, throw it on the list. I'm only going to put five things on this list, though. I'll leave it up to everyone to look up what a baby bootlegger is. Sounds fair. Eagle 5 from Spaceballs. Spaceballs is a win. <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, that was so good. I think you should do the vacuum that they used to suck the atmosphere out of the... Uh, Gosh. Off the, off the planet. That was, that was awesome. Mega Maid? Oh, the Eagle 5. Is, yeah, the Eagle 5 is the, uh, the Winnebago. <laughs> Winnebago would be fun. So, actually, so the second... This question came up. What about the Dragon 5? And we could model both the Tesla truck and the Dragon 5 in the first 20 minutes of the next live stream. It's true. It's true. Some real life objects on my desk. All right. Should model my desktop. Um, so I went in just, just to give you guys kind of an idea of what I'm looking at right here. I went in and I just traced off in 2D the profile of the cockpit cut out and push pulled it through. I don't want to actually use this to uh, intersect or, or use solid tools or anything like that because uh, it's going to put all these weird cuts and create a whole bunch of end guns that will have to clean up. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to select these faces, I'm going to say intersect face with model. So I'm doing it in this group specifically. Once that's done, I'll come over here. I'll get rid of all this stuff on the outside. And when I bring that in, this gives me a guide of whereabouts I should cut out uh, the cockpit area. So what this means, I can come in here I want to see the rest of my model. Okay, comments are kind of exploding right now because nobody remembers you saving in like Fine. forever. I'll save. Save twice. You make feel better. Thanks for the reminder, okay. guys. <laughs> so how many people do that? You save and then you're like, just in case that didn't work. That's right. It, it does happen. And like in games, I just creating, keep creating a new save. Like I never go back to something four saves ago. That's but right. I always have, by the time I finish a game, there's like a list of 40 saves from that game. Uh, no see, I'm, ba I'm bad at that because I constantly save over the same save. Well, once it tells me I can't save anymore, I start over with the oldest save. <laughs> it works. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the points I have and I'm lining them up with where, approximately where this, this cockpit cutout is. Uh, this is not precision. This is, this is just getting a shape up about where I want it to be. All right, that looks pretty good. So, a lot of this geometry lined up to the cockpit. This piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. The only one that got weird is this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that line right there. I'm going to draw a line from here to here. Hide the rest of my model real quick. Draw a line from here to here. And then maybe, 
No, then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so what that does is that means these pieces are basically, those are my cockpit now. So I can drop that down inside. Um, I can do this a couple different ways. I could do this the same way I did before. I just drop vertical lines from each point and reconnect them on the bottom. Uh, I think, I, I'm, I'm not really sure how I want to do this. I'm going to drop a line vertically and just check, run a line from there to there. I'm just going to see how this would work out. And I drop that line straight down there. And then I'll grab a line and pull this one straight over to, now see then it's not going to drop, it's not going to drop right anymore. Correctly. Well here, let me try this. Just go to each corner and drop down so I can connect back up to that shape. Same thing here, just drop vertically to here. Drop, oop, that can't go all that, that can't go that far down. We'll just drop down to this far, connect that back. Up down to here, connect that back, and then I will have to connect these two. Let me come across here, and then drop this vertically down to here, and connect these two back together. All right, so what I manually did was I just kind of went in and created that negative space for the cockpit. Norman said, you might not believe it, but vertex tools and control do that. Yeah, but what, but what would have happened is I would have had, uh, hold up. I would have ended up with, uh, um, Words, Aaron. it would have been Words. vertical like this. I would have pulled it straight down like that. And then I had to push it back in to make it a negative space, um, which wouldn't have been not, not a big deal. Actually, I, I could have actually done that. That's that's probably a good idea because I could have put it in and then manually gone back and uh, pushed it back down. That would have worked. All right. I so, hope that you realize how lucky you are that in this conversation between you, me, and everyone else in the chat, you're the only person that gets to use phrases like, like that and gesture with your hands. That's right. It's a good thing too, because sometimes descriptive words don't do good from my mouth. <laughs> Talk with your hands, Aaron. <laughs> That's right. Well, sometimes here I am showing a 3D program, but I'll still explain things like this. <laughs> I'm going to talk about, you know, we're going to do some lines and then they're going to smooth out and then some dots and circles. All right. I'm going to increase this. I have, I have to wonder if Dietzen is an Italian name. Dietzoni. All right. Yeah, that's super sick. That's looking good. Um, I think I'm going to, I, I, so I, st I only creased for part of this, but I think I'm going to, Crease this all the way because I like the way that runs into the body. Yes. Wow. Now I can get rid of this thing. It's looking pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, It does look like this needs to pull back a little bit more. This is a little too rounded. Uh, so let's come in here and see why. Okay, no problem. So I'll take that piece right there. Vertex tools to slide that back a bit. Nice. Oh man. Did That's I already awesome. say this, this looks like a, a land speeder from Star Wars? You did mention that. Yes. 
Yes, I have heard. This that. is if if they had better designers. Oh shucks. I mean, yeah, it's just a little boring, you know. I have been watching. Um, I think I mentioned that I probably thoroughly geeked out on already. So, uh, but you know, Mandalorian was awesome. Um, but I have been watching the uh, Disney Plus has like a docu mini documentary, I guess, on it. The making of the Mando. Yeah. yeah. It has been so cool to watch that and just. It's one of those times where you're like watching, like, man, I want to do what you do for a living because. They basically all just nerd out on how much they love Star Wars <laughs> through the whole episode. Yeah, you gotta gotta figure it's pretty good. Although I wonder what what it feels like to have nerded out, made a Star Wars, and then it's you know, episode one. Do you tell people? Actually, I saw Adam Savage. I saw some re thing recently. He's like, "Yeah, I worked on episode one and two. and then he goes, "Sorry." <laughs> uh. I was talking with my son yesterday, and uh, he had I had to explain to him why I was so so unhappy about episode three. But man, if you just go back and watch it again, you get the. I think my big problem. I'm sorry. We're we're Wait, totally one? three. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's I. I need to try and rewatch that one yeah. i mean it's not much <laughs> when i tried to watch one i was just like oh this is, i can't do it and i can't finish it uh, it's not any better even by three no the thing that bothers me about three is they've just made anakin into such a goon he's just so like easily manipulated and yeah i thought i mean Probably it was cool he became the the, the willful one. darth vader yeah sorry spoiler in case anybody hasn't seen it. Well, it's just a bummer that, like, they, uh, you know, they talk about him being the chosen one, the one who will bring balance to the forest and all that kind of stuff, which is cool. But what gets me is the fact that they, they took the same actor to play the emperor as the guy who was the emperor in the first one, and the fact that they made him, uh, and everybody who looked at it knew who he was going to be, you know? So it was kind of kind of ruined come with some of the surprise of <gasps> he's bad because yeah he knew he was bad from the very first moment you know before before episode one came out his name was attached yeah. on IMDb so it was, it was kind of a bummer I think that would have would have made it a lot more fun for me okay weird surprised. stuff is yeah. happening right here ooh looks so neat. I can it's one of those where you can see a pattern you know like you squint yeah. your eyes it's like, like when you're face. looking at a piece of wood and you're like yeah. I see it's bunny a, it's ears. It's a praying mantis head. Oh, bunny ears is probably nicer. So right here, so this is how subdivided uh, meshes should look. See, they're nice and ordered. So they reverse faces because the subdivision that I have in there is going one way or the other. This is not how a subdivision should look. Um, so that makes me want to go in and see what is going on there. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test something. So right now, this is soft and smooth, but sh uh, don't cast shadow is turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on for off on. I'm going to toggle it, hit subdivide again. Oh, look how clean that is. So these three, one, two, three, toggle that, subdivide. That's better. Ooh, that's butter. That's beautiful. So any place I got that weirdness going on. So here I have one, two, three. That one's okay. Uh, all I have to do is come in and go one, two, three, four, turn that off, and then subdivide it much cleaner. That's so much better. Okay. Uh, same thing might be going on here. Let's check that. Um, one thing I could do if I had the right set of extensions installed. I swear I use other extensions besides TomToms. Um, but one thing I could do is I could come in here, select everything, right click, select only, and then say select only soft edges. 
and make sure they all have show uh, cast shadow turned off. And that's going to assure that I get nice, clean subdivide subdivision lines like that. Oh, that's, that's, such, so a, that's such a bonker setting. It just it well, completely bros, breaks my brain pan. I, I think what it was was Tom Tom. And actually, this may have come from Fredo. He, he may have actually not done this himself, but I think he needed a value. Because like I said, the subdivision or, or quads is not a thing in SketchUp. So I think he needed a value that he could look at and say, this is not a real line. So I think he used that. I think that's how that worked. Um, you know, so here's my thoughts. So I was reading up on being able to do an AMA inside of Discourse, which is totally possible to do. So maybe, maybe we can, I can convince Tom, Tom to like host, uh, and ask me anything. I'm Tom, Tom, and I'm a evil, what's this company? Evil software empire. I mean, I work for, I own, I run the evil software empire. Ask me anything. And then okay. we can, we can corner him and be like shadows. What's going on, man? <laughs> I don't think you that have to be that true. underhanded. I think you could just go to him and go. <laughs> so why? I bet he'd just tell you. I would, I would bet you there's a dozen, at least a dozen other questions to ask. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to save. Uh, so I'm so tired of saving all the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, he does autosave, so you shouldn't really have to do anything. It's just you're wasting your time by doing it. Yeah, because I probably don't have that turned off. <laughs> what? Why would you do not? Oh, man. Do not. Oh. Oh. Not only do you, do you do that, but you just told the world. No, I oh. didn't say that as a good thing. I said, uh, don't do that. Don't turn off autosave. I don't know. Mm. It, might not be, it might be turned on. Uh, right. I love that you don't even know. That's the yeah. best part. Where's that at again? <laughs> Every five minutes, of course. Yeah, it's on. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Whew, is it getting hot in here? <laughs> it is 80. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I was going to say, how hot is it in there? I did. So I, got, I, I came down at 6 this morning and turned the air conditioner on. Um, and that helps. I mean, during the days I've had it running, and it keeps it cool in here, but it does... Uh, it is loud, so I have to turn it off when I'm using my microphone or something. So yeah, I turned it off about quarter to twelve, and it's uh, it's warm now. It's, it's nice. Uh oh, did the pole get, get away? Hot and... I, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm trying to figure out. It's, it's maybe it's not working because nobody's voted on Tardis. Wow, that was the one that was requested. I, I, I recall it. Okie doke. Well, there's only been five votes, so... Well, so there you go. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to think of how to approach wheel wells. And I'm, what I'd like to do, I would like to not add a whole lot of new geometry. I'd like to manipulate the geometry I have, if possible. But I don't know if that's going to work. Um, dang, that's cool looking. What's All right, cool? so Wait. I'm going to take my two wheels. Dude, you need to lift this thing. Yeah. I'm going to put them on a wheels tag and then toggle that on and off as I work through here. Have you, have you talked to your wife about like what's appropriate to bring you at 130 on hot days? Like an ice pack I could sit on or something? <laughs> my daughter is always hot so she's always got a washcloth a wet washcloth <laughs> draped around her <laughs> my daughter got sunburned like two weeks in a row so i've seen a lot of that too all right so so what i'm so what you guys what i'm what i'm looking at right now is uh these wheels which look enormous and scary but really that is the size pulled off of there um, so the way this has this nice geometry that blends right back in with the side and then comes out, but I don't want to mess with what's already here very much. So what I think I'm going to do is unsubdivide this. 
I'm going to come in here and grab, start grabbing some lines. Watch how I do this. Grab that line, I'm going to grab that line, that line, that line, that line, that line, and that line. So what I've created is a set of lines that go in a U shape. And I'm going to use this command over here, which is connect edges, connect edges tool. I'm going to click on that. And what that's going to do is that's going to go in and break that geometry. The reason I use that rather than just going and draw lines from midpoint to midpoint is these are quads, so they are broken. The quad face tools will go in and break that even without that uh, being an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and make it. All right, that broke good. For some reason, I ended up That's with... Pretty. That's pretty. Blue. So let's uh, orient faces to get that back where it's supposed to be. All right, so what that did there was that gave me new geometry that I can work with. Um, so what I can... You know what? Actually, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to redo that because I want to do that a little different. I'm going to grab those lines again, same exact lines. And one of the things you can do with that Connect Edges tool, uh, when I run it, I can tell it how many edges do I actually want, how many segments do I want to put in. So I'm going to put in two. And that's going to put two of them in there. And you see they're going from midpoint to midpoint all the way around. So what I want this to be, this is going to be where that fender starts to come out. And then this line right here will be where the actual fender pops out. The other thing I do is I can use this pinch right here. So I can bump this up, but let's see what 50 looks like. And that's going to move them apart more. So that this, this fender does come up pretty high onto here. So I'm going to go right there and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I can take these pieces. So the, actually before I do that, even let's go ahead and grab this thing all the way around. You're getting a thumbs up or the virtual equivalent from both horn and nerve. So you're, you must be doing something right. Did it right. <laughs> Take all those. And I'm just going to, I'm going to put it like 50 for right now. I, I may, I may come in and sharpen this up more. I don't want a hard, uh, cut there, but I want, I want something like that. Um, I'm also going to take, here, let's turn turn my wheel on. So I'm going to have to move these around a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll do that first. I'll start, I'll start over here. I'll grab these. Slide it back. These two guys back a little bit. Looks pretty good. Um, grab that one. And then I'm going to come in. I'll just turn x ray to get to them. But I'm going to take hmm, how, how to do this part. So I'm definitely going to bring this a ways back because it's going to come out past the wheel. Let's grab. Because back edges doesn't matter if you're an x-ray. All right, there we go. Uh, Matters to me. All right, that's fair, that's fair. Don't know why. Sort of feel like that's just being obstinate, but I don't want to judge. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, wait, uh, I think we all know. All right, there we go. So now I got that wheel well up and around. So again, at that point, just blocking out, just getting geometry where I want it. Now, next piece, now is when I'm actually gonna come in here and start, we're gonna start flaring. Uh, so let me grab vertex tools, I'm gonna pull that out. There we go, oh yeah, look at that. Ugh. I gotta stop using the mouse because it was really, Rocky, that's really rough. I saw somebody commented on how uh, Tom Tom's car, his char, is it Charger? I think, I think that's what it is, is still mm -hmm. not done. 
And you're right, it's still not done. I think that it's got to be a deliberate, a willful act at this point. <laughs> it has been his example model for subdivision for, well, let's see. Vertex tools came out 10 years ago, so <laughs> something like that. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna grab these front edges. I'm gonna give them a little pinch too. I don't want to. I don't want to throw shade on you, but looking at this old post of the previous Cobra, it mm -hmm. looks pretty unfinished as well. Yeah, it's it's stuff could have gone better. Note to self: check on the status of that car in ten years and see if Aaron is any better. Well, let's than... just say I know Tom. Tom spent more than two hours on that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Fine. Wow, you're supposed to be on my side, jerk. No, you know what? I just wanted to see what it looks like after 10 years for you. That's oh, okay. all. I'd be curious. All right, all right. Nope, that's not the other way. All right, uh, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm just gonna give that a quick subdivide. All right, that looks, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. That is, actually, that makes me happy. Um, I'm not really sure what's happening here. Pipe it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five sides. This, my friends, is an N-gon. Um, so yeah, so there's a couple things I could do here. Uh, I could try that. I could try this. I think I think I want to go like this because I really want to maintain this ridge if at all possible. So I'm going to do that and then uh see how that looks if I subdivide that. Yeah, see even that give me a bump right there. So what if I do this? Eh, still not not what I want. That's better though. That's better than the alternative. Weird too. I thought I had less weird. This I did not like at all though. What if I do this? What if I take this line, keep that the hard subdivide, or blah, the, make that like it's supposed to be there and sub smooth that. Now, now what? Now what you gotta say? So if you use control and erase those code planers. Uh, is there a reason you couldn't do that instead of softening every time? I could, but as soon as I do that, that disappears before I can set uh, the non-shadow uh, Okay, non-shadow's got to be assigned manually. Yes. Tom actually works on the extensibility team. Why didn't he go and like add an API call so that <laughs> that just happens automatically whenever he's inside of it? Yeah, really, Tom. What are you thinking? Can't be that hard. I'm not an engineer, but that should be easy. You know, it's funny. How often have we seen that that uh, term come up? <laughs> you know, I've never written a line of code in my life, but I can't believe it's got to be too difficult to make a change to the software that I want. Yes. Stop it. Stop. Stop. I do want to get this has to get cleaned up a little bit. Ooh. I guess I get rid of my pink lines now. They're kind of I keep thinking there's something wrong. That was not the right way to go. That was the what? What's your problem? Cut it out. 
I don't even do anything anymore. Oh boy. What is it you'd say you do here? <laughs> wow, it wouldn't let me go. It had me. The, the matrix had me. All right. All right, so All right. since you brought it up, yeah, do you have thoughts on The Matrix 4? Uh, let me answer that by saying this. I'm excited for the new Bill and Ted movie. <laughs> <laughs> is that answer? Whoa, you are? When is, when is that I, I'm go? more excited for Bill and Ted than I am for more Matrix. How's that? I'll be honest. You know, everybody liked to hate on the two and three. I didn't have a problem with them. I enjoyed them all. Oh, they weren't. I can they... see why. I can see why it would be odd that they would make another one because I'm unique in my non dislike <laughs> of those two. Yeah, not. Uh, I was a little surprised to hear they were going back for more. Just say that. Uh, yeah, that was that was not what I was expecting. Do you think Neo's eyes will still be burned out of his head? Yeah, that's the big thing, right? Is, is the main characters are dead, so it <laughs> yeah. makes you kind of wonder what the, what's the what the plan is there. What What are you gonna do there? They're gonna retcon some uh, some sort of healing, last saving grace. I mean, he was the Neo. I mean, the one. Yeah. I guess if you're you're the chosen one who can do anything anywhere, then you get to do anything. I don't know. All right. Sort of by definition. Yeah, that's that's what it is, I suppose. All right, so I'm gonna grab all the pieces that are inside that wheel. And oops, and gone there. Um, use vertex tools with option. Pull a copy straight in. And that's gonna it's gonna cause a mess that I'm gonna have to clean up, but it does let me. See, Bill and Ted's supposed to be out August twenty first this year. Did not work. Do you think they've saved the world yet? Or do you think that this is like, they're finally, they've got to save the world? Well, Bill and Ted didn't die, so, you know, it's okay. Well, but I mean, they jumped, but when they came back to make sure that they saved the world, they made people be excellent to each other, which right now, ironic that that's going to come out this year, right about now. <laughs> uh, like, how old were they when they finally saved the world? When did it when did it get saved? When did they tell everyone to be excellent to each other? Jeez, Keanu's got a got a full lineup. He's got The Matrix will be out in 2021 and then John Wick 4 is oh, it still says rumored. Why? What kind of rumor is that? Oh, these are all just announced. Sorry, I'm looking on IMDb here. Whereas Nerman's still telling you you need to delete the lines you don't need first. There we go. All right. Uh, a little bit of cleanup here. Actually, this, this I probably just want to, uh, this is going to be weird. Uh, things are going to get weird right now. <laughs> I have no idea how this is all supposed to go the other down here. All right. Get rid of that. Something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I could probably even do... Oh, yeah. I don't even know what's supposed to be happening here. All right, let's uh, yeah, let's let's clean up this and make a proper wheel. Well, not really. This is, this is gonna be very improper. But let's get some geometry closed up here. Mm, I guess I'll just. Stitch, stitchy, stitchy. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and bring 
of faces. Since that's going to be hidden, I'm not really too worried about making that too beautiful because I think that's going to work. All right. Uh, how do I make that easier and quicker the second time? Um, I guess I just don't. I just, I just, I know better. That's, that's the reason, I guess. I'm going to insert my loops. And now, uh, take mm -hmm. take those, move them vertical. Bring this guy down. And we get a consistent space between the existing wheel, or the wheel, existing, not existing, doesn't really matter, whatever it takes. All right, and then turn this off because I want to grab... These three, scoop them out significantly. That's what I'm looking for. That's going to be easier. All right, so I learned something. Not a lot. Don't don't get don't get don't be worried. Don't worry. Let's try can, this. I, can I quote you on that? I did not learn a lot. Yes. All right. So I'm going to take. There we go. That's going to be easier because now. When I turn my wheel back on, I'll be able to see all of this. Awesome. And then this, yeah, that's better. That's gonna make it easier. So now what I can do is I can actually come in here, grab each of these points, pull that out to the wheel. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. That was way easier. When you're done, you push these up to the warehouse. Is it only Aaron? Is that your warehouse name? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, Steve was playing around with my the name of my account. Cause it might be Aaron making stuff. All right. I still oh. see it as the only Aaron. Okay. Oh, no, wait. So it says the only Aaron, but the actual yeah. domain or the actual URL is Aaron making stuff. So the answer is yes. <laughs> I tried. I try to link to. Uh, I try to put a link in the forum to the yeah, model. Yeah, to... it's figured if someone's trying to load this directly from in SketchUp, they can't really use that link. That is right? true. Very true. What did I? How much did I increase that? Eighty percent. All right, increasing is important. Man. Yeah. So I'm looking at your, looking at your warehouse channel at the old Cobra. <laughs> My apologies. You, sh you should import that in next to this one once once you're done. I, I don't think I have enough memory on this computer to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a lot of stuff. That was that was that was a big, heavy model. 
back at the time I thought, wow, this looks pretty neat. But now as I'm looking at it compared to the new and improved version, it's the old ones. I mean, kind of laughable, kind of laughable, almost laughable, laughable ish. Yeah, better than my, better than my efforts would be, but you can laugh at me. It's okay. And I, I only say it's bad in that it's bad compared to this one. It's pretty good otherwise on its own. Eh. Yeah. As soon as you get into it, it's a, it's, a, it's a rough model. It is definitely not awesome. What's, uh, why don't you go, go and look at your, your poly count for this one? Before or after I subdivide? All right, let me get this wheel well set in, and I think uh, we, we may be getting there. Also, Hoopender's wondering what the heaviest model you ever created was. The Falcon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't have to yeah. very long about that one. No. Didn't, Didn't have to worry about that, yeah. Wait, so did you have to upload it in three parts? I did. Is that why there's three copies? There are three pieces to the Falcon because it was so big. Jeez. Uh, yeah. What a beast. Ooh, look at that, we ran into uh, an issue. <laughs> uh, the wheel well goes into the body of the car too far. Huh. Nerman's just frantically typing delete over here. Yeah. All right, here, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna grab Benson said to save, and I'm going to reiterate, you don't have to save now because you've got autosave on. You know, that's the kind of mindset. People in serious trouble sometimes. I've heard. What's the worst that could happen? That's valid. All right. So I do have some overlap between my new wheel well. and uh, the existing body. So that, that's gonna, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit. That's okay, it'll add a little character to the cockpit, which is a term I'm, I'm continuing to cockpit. use, even though, you know, I don't know if that's actually what you'd call that. Oh, I didn't delete enough. I think we had this discussion last time too. Do cars have cockpits? Yes, at least cars like this. Okay, because they're because they're so sporty. Is that why? <laughs> yes, they must be. They're, they're allowed to have cockpits if you're sporty enough, or if you liken them to airplanes. Mm. I do. I do think that this has uh, a uh, airplaney feel so steve said the door since the doors have no thickness the wheel well is going to cut them how's that make you feel oh yeah we got things to fix here don't even worry about it but you see i'm patching i'm patching i'm patching okay so i'm gonna hold on let me <laughs> let me get back to that uh all right oh am i out of context i am all right, let me finish, get that wheel well copy cleaned up. be there too. Ooh, some of this stuff just, just, 
just ugly by the time you get done. All right, so I'm going to take these ones, get rid of them. Uh, something there definitely got created on the inside. Yep. All right, that one to get, get gone to. Um, honestly, this is where I possibly could have gone in and maybe done some intersection. Maybe I would have gotten away from sub D at this point. But uh, yeah, it's kind of nice that this is still one solid mass because this is going to get kind of kind of creepy in here. All right, I'm going to grab all of this, intersect it with itself. and choose what to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, that gives me zero depth. So here, let's just, let's just do this. The door's a little depth there. I actually get rid of this now. I'm making up that solution on the fly. I did. I didn't really know how I was going to do that. Look at you improvising. There we go. All right. So let's subdivide that. Let's save it. Subdivide. Oh yeah. Look at those window. Look at the, look at those window wells. Oh boy. Uh oh. Got an ugliness here. Awesome. Yes. All right. Let's see what this looks like with two halves. All right. We'll scale that. Slide it over. Now, this is a cool thing that happens. You really only have to select one side and hit subdivide, and both sides will. That's not. That's a lie. Apparently. I thought that would happen. I really thought that was going to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Watch it. Oh, never mind. Uh, just kidding. Boom, baby. All right, let's let's turn off some lines. If bit. you switch it back, it's sort of like Two Face. That's, that's true. I mean, it's unsubdivided one half. That's going to make for a cool look. Let's, let's smooth it out. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Wait, were they components or were they groups? Maybe that's why. One group. Oops. Well, undo, 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 undo. undo. Make component. I'm going to call this half a cobra. <laughs> All right. Let's get my lines back on so we can do this. Wow. Really, really uh, got excited about that and then it uh, didn't work. There you go. Boink. So divide yeah, one. There we go. Now they both oh, go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just as you think they would. Awesome. Yeah. Let's poly right. count. All right. Let's uh, let, me, let me get rid of some stuff. I need those. Don't throw my numbers off, Laura. All right. <laughs> Sorry. You're just a statistic. <laughs> You're just... Your numbers. Twenty thousand. Did you look at the other cobra? Yeah. I think I got it. Oh. Let me, oh, look. Let, me go, let me go dig it up. I, I happen to have it right here. Oh. There she is. Right. <laughs> is it there? Just like staring at you? Just a just a brutal reminder? Oh, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, 52,000. Oh. So, oh, well, polygons as declared in the warehouse. 30,000 more. Well, that's edges, not polygons. I'm sorry. Faces of 32 versus 14. So... Half the size, basically. Nice. Anyone is. Although there's wheels on the one in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's wheels now too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they're not pretty wheels, but they're wheels. <laughs> they're not pretty on the other one either, though. That's true. They, well, the other one, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure I threw them in like in the last 
10 minutes of the model. Yeah, no, I, it was definitely a uh, sort of impromptu. <laughs> Transom said, Polly's gone. <laughs> All right. Um, so one last thing here. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to... Uh, I want to look at this. This is the, the last thing I want to look at. So you can see there is this bump where the two halves come together because like I said that the, let me get my lines back on. At this line, it will uh, subdivide away from the line a little bit like that, as opposed to if it had another surface that was near horizontal, it would kind of smooth that transition. So it does pull down to the next uh, edge, but you get this sharp edge all the way around. See that? There it is bumping up right there. Not so bad back here, that's, but you can really see it on the front. That's probably why they put the two right racing stripes down the middle in the original <laughs> Cobra. It's just sort of it distracts draw, the eye from that. Away from that. Yeah. So what you can do, so what you have to do at that point is uh, bring these together. So you can make these a uh, group together, and then I'll come in here, unsubdivide, take the control mesh, and explode it. And now if I subdivide it, I get an error message. So, so it'd be curious if you had put that scoop on the green axis as mentioned uh, earlier in this process, if that would have happened. Well, it's as, as funny as it is, uh, the problem I have is with that scoop. Um, so you got this nice, I got a nice clean joined line all the way around except right here so the line gets big there Ooh, yeah. um, something is just slightly off oh look at that look at that oh it's funny just just now as you orbit it around from the front it reminded me of the uh what was that old Hanna barbera like dune buggy oh uh all the time yeah. <laughs> yeah, speed buggy. Speed buggy. Oh, yeah. Wow. First episode, September 8th, 1973. All right. So I got to get that cleaned up. Um, Norman said merge. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe that's what you want. Uh, what I want is for these two lines to join up on this line. Um, that's where they should be. So. That's the point that I want them to meet at. It didn't actually join, did it? It was just off. Wow. So how is that even possible? Let's go from here. Go along this edge, pull it straight. Why is it not coming through? Why is it? <laughs> there we go. Nerman said, I, Nerman said, I order you to stop and merge. And then he said, please. No, it's, there's a gap. It won't, wait, what? Merge this? <laughs> he gives up. All right, you tell, can, me, tell you me what to do. Because to... I'm kind of thinking what I'll no. do is actually, I'll just draw a rectangle right here. He's, he's, he said it will merge. I don't know what, what merge means though. Okay. Where's merge? Well, you turn and read the text so that there's not me as a middleman screw anything up to. <laughs> In vertex tools. Oh, I got you. So grab this vertex tools. Uh, merge vertices. So I just grab these two, merge these two. Merge. Now I should just have two. 
Okay, now let's try subdividing. He said no. What? It looked like that worked. Definitely. Oh, I saw. Better, look better first. Oh, up first. One vertice. One vertice. One vertice. Two vertices. Merge. One vertice. <laughs> it does look like the, the heavy line went away. So that looks like that part got fixed. Still doesn't like it though. Pyong. Is that, do you need to. This is weird. Shadows and stuff like that? You said something natural. I don't Oh, um, about the about the sedative for Nerman. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure why this was supposed to be our final step, and now instead of being a final step, everything doesn't work. <laughs> Open a whole new can of worms. See, look what look, weird stuff is happening right here. Look at this. Okay, that's all clean, and then what happens here? Do you have lines that were not? Shadows turned off. I do the same thing. I check it all again and say select only soft edges. Soft and smooth all. Nope. Huh. Weirdness. Um, okay, so I have a question. Okie doke. If you put this on the warehouse mm -hmm. and someone opens it and they have sub D, yes, will they be able to use? Okay. Yep, absolutely. So, so if you could put it up there and Nerman could fix your stuff and be like, see? <laughs> that's, that's what I need, apparently. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back over to the half. I'm going to fix a couple things. One thing, obviously, is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to move him horizontally to that point that should fix that problem i don't know if that's the, that was the only problem though um the subdivide is very nice so i'm gonna try copying it over here so this is the last ditch right here just gonna fix that first bring it over i don't even know if that was what was causing the problem i just noticed that when i joined them together that didn't uh Let's explode these and see if we get that nice. Nope, it looks like I got a still a still a little hump. But at least you don't have that weird profile thing going on. That one subdivides okay. But it looks like it's broken. This it doesn't look like Move this in from this point it's right here. Make these a group. Can you use color edges, color edges by axis on something like this, or is it all wonky? Nah, everything's so far cool. off axis right now. Huh, look at that. She's merge po vertexes, of course. Duh, what else would you use? <laughs> right, Nerman? He says, I use vertex tool for that, selecting that side and use scale to zero, zero on the first half. Wow, you get a lot more out of vertex tools than a lot of people. All right, we're almost there. Check it out. I just got an issue right uh, here. I'm not looking at that. I'm not sure what happened there. For some reason, that line's broken. It does not need to be. All right, this. Boom, baby. There she is. A room, a zoom, zoom. 
All right, let's take that and let's bump it. Mm -hmm. it. Oh, yes. That's better. Uh, this is weird. I don't know what's going on there. It's a cup holder. <laughs> you just forgot to notch it out. Uh... What the heck? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm removing the doors temporarily to clean up on the inside there. All right. Let's try that one more time. That could have been actually what was causing the problem. You know, think about that. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to get wacky real quick. And uh, I'm going to save it. And we'll take it to one more. We'll take it to three. <laughs> I just have a feeling four is going to be a little, little too much. A little too crazy for a Friday afternoon. This is the big thing. Oh, that was nice. Yes, look at that. I love it. Oh, so much better. Cool. Uh, so I'm gonna throw this on the warehouse, you guys. I'll throw it in just like this. So anybody can go up, grab it, uh, play with it, finish it off, throw windows, wheels, whatever. Uh, I'll put a link in the forum for it uh, and that's man that is so much better than last time and we, we do, a little, do a little side by side here let's let's do this this looks like compare the two it's, it's not terrible this looks like it like like a car of a Batman villain who's like a fish themed thief or something. <laughs> it basically just looks like you took a couple of cigars and sort of jammed them along each side. <laughs> yeah. So this, I mean, just nothing really ties together and it's all kind of separate. And I, I, it just, yeah. And it got so heavy so quick. If we look at the hidden, just, it's just so much stuff. Uh, whereas over here, yes, it is a lot, but. You'll see that nice, uh, turn the lines back on, nice ordered mesh. So you don't have that, that craziness where it's super dense in some parts and then less dense in others. Uh, that looks a little weird. I have to clean that up. That looks a little weird too. All right, so maybe a little bit of cleanup to do. But uh, for the most part, <laughs> I, will, I will throw this up. Not, not a whole lot different than it is now. Nerman said the first one looks like what you would get when you think you know how to model the last one is that's when you right. actually know how to model <laughs> well that's so we've talked about that too like uh oh in the back end look at look at that versus that Whew, man um yeah so this was i'd like to say that i've just improved that much over the last three months but <laughs> i think my goal of trying to do like as much as possible with na native tools was a part of this uh it didn't it didn't it didn't pan out the way i hoped so, yeah, so we don't, we can just ball that up and throw it away and never speak of it ever again. And then we're good. Um, Aaron's dirty little secret. That's right. Just hide it. Just bury it. Bury it deep. Um, so if I go, I'm just curious because it looked like some of those things changed. So I'm going to see if I select only hidden again. Oops. Not select only hidden, select only soft edges. And see how that looks. But no, that was that was fun. I'm I'm personally I feel a little vindicated that that model turned out so much. Oh yeah, that's much cleaner. So some of my uh, my hidden stuff got unhidden or something. 
got a little weird. This looks weird too. But uh, yeah, I feel better about how this all turned out and excited to put this up to the warehouse rather than cringing at the thought of doing it. So that's, that's, a, good, that's a good place for me to be. So some of these are kind of weird. Some of these are stretched out, but yeah, those, this doesn't look right either. I'm going to definitely have to talk to Tom Tom and find out why. Oh, that's because that's an end gun. Every time I hear end guns, I think of like some sort of che cheesy 80s cartoon villain. Mm, cheesy. Like now I'm thinking about pizza again. How often do I leave this thing thinking about pizza? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You should just be here always thinking about pizza. It does sound like, like uh, what was that? Reboot? Is that that first like fully 3D animated? Um. All right. So yeah, I guess at this point I'm just... I'm polishing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, uh, I'm not going to repeat the sentence you you uttered before whenever I asked how this was going to go today, but I'd say you're probably accurate. Yeah, this went, uh, in a nutshell, I'd say this went better. <laughs> I may have spoken some impolite words in reference to no they my... were they were polite they were just a bit crude yeah that's right well i think we, i think it worked out i think this uh this worked out pretty good i think i got another end gone here i do i think i fixed it on once did i not no obviously i didn't fix that one but not this one. All right, this could be it. This is the last one. If this fixes my end gun prop, my uh, my weird webbiness, we're calling it. I suppose it's supposed to happen when I did that head nod and it didn't. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Sweet. All right. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to post this. You guys feel free to hop in and do whatever you like with it. Uh, just, just let me know what you do. That's that's really all I've ever asked for. You guys can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, what happened with that poll, Jody? Uh, so ended up with a total of twelve results. Uh, the Dragon Five was the winner with five votes. So I mean, it's not like it just ran away with it or anything. Whereas okay. none of the okay. above was in second place. So I told, I mentioned to Transom, I was going to, we would repost this maybe with a few more options. Yeah. Maybe we'll do something uh, through the forum and get a, forum. a better, a better number yeah. than that. Awesome. Well, yeah. that's, that is where we will end it, you guys. So that's, that was fun. A little over two and a half hours. Uh, yes, you are more than welcome to add wheels, Colin. <laughs> and a windshield if you like. <laughs> But, uh, the fact that he's in asking about four, I think, I think you should try and find a way to make three work, Colin. No, I don't like taking wheels away from Colin. He has enough of a problem when he has the proper two. <laughs> Ooh, inside joke. That's right. Yay. So with that note, <laughs> that nobody understands, we will call it here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I hope uh, you guys are enjoying getting back to the making Friday a big thing. We're not necessarily shooting down the idea of doing additional ones. We may still do some additional ones, but uh, it feels like people are getting back in the, the swing of working and that sort of thing. So uh, we're trying to get back there too. Uh, you know, normal life. But uh, we'll, we'll keep doing these on Friday and maybe we'll do an extra one every once in a while. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all for showing up. And uh, remember, just stay safe, stay sane, and uh, we'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye, guys. And we're clear.
Yeah, you gotta go do your thing. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna go, maybe I might go shower now. I, I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> in my in my extra tight t-shirt, no less. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, have a good time. Talk to you.